One of the things I notice about certain women, the Sullivans and Against the Wind is they've got a kind of literary quality. You, you feel as if when you're watching them that they must have been based on a novel or, so, or something. No, they have that quality to them, but they weren't. None of them were. That's to do with complexity of story. It's, it's always um, the job of the writer, and I've said this many times, the job of the, the fiction writer is to sit in the village and tell stories about what's going on there. And um, uh, so, you, and on a long series like the Sullivans, the complexity of the story is enormous. It's, it's like a couple of Dickens novels stuck together, you know, because, because so much happens to the characters and so much goes on. Um, but that's what, the, that's what the, jo the, the job of the writer is, is to be a storyteller. It worries me that um, the literary novel has gone away from the story. I, th I find them unreadable. They, they won't tell me a story. My first, you know, I, as a child I wanted to be told a story. As an adult I still want to be told a story. To get a story these days I have to go to genre novels like, you know, sort of police procedurals and, you know, sort of detective stuff, uh, where, because the, the, literary, the literary novelist, with some exceptions, Christopher Koch is an exception, Christopher Koch tells you a story, but when I read the other day that David Maloof, David Maloof was quoted as saying, now he, he may have been misquoted, but he was quoted as saying that, that when he's worked on projects where it looked as if a plot was starting to develop, at which point he would abandon the project. Now, with respect, I, th I think this is subverting a great tradition of, of storytelling. And that storytelling goes back before the novel. It goes back to Homer. It goes back before Homer. It, 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 it is what we do. It is one of the things that human beings do which is universal. We may not uh, all be monotheists, we may worship many gods, we may worship no god. We may, there uh, are societies which are alleged not to have been able to, uh, to have discovered how to make fire. But all of those societies have told stories. And it is, it's how we crystallise human experience and learn by living many lives. If you read fiction, you, re you live many lives. Uh, you, can, you can be the Count of Monte Cristo, you can be Biggles, you can be all of the swallows and Amazons, you can, you can, you, you can be Poirot. Well, no, no one could have been Poirot, but you know what I mean. <laughs> it's, 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 a, it's, a way of, it's a way of getting experience um, without actually having to do it. And for story, for writers to abandon the story, I think is, is tragic. <laughs>